Welcome to Coffee with Eric. I'm Eric, and this is Coffee. There will always be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There is no escape. It doesn't matter whether it's next year or 1,003 years from now, there will always be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You could put me in a cryopod and deep freeze me for a few hundred years and let me emerge into a human society that feels completely foreign to me where we have entirely new concepts of how we consume entertainment media, where we have mastered faster than light travel, we just teleport everywhere for transportation. Virtual reality blends seamlessly in with meat space reality. No idea what the socio-political feel will be but when I emerge from that pot, I can ask the nearest person, who is your favorite Ninja Turtle? And they will say something like, oh, I love Donatello, the purple one, who's really smart and fights with a wooden bow staff. Because Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles will never go away. And honestly, I believe this. I believe... Part of it's just the name, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's just so random and zany. I, I know it's hard to imagine this, but imagine waking up tomorrow morning and losing all your memories of anything you've ever been a fan of, any media property you've ever consumed. And imagine someone hands you a list of like 400 of them. And they're like, of all the media properties out there, of all the franchises, the series, the fandoms you can be a part of, I don't care if it's comic books, video games, television shows, movies, here are your options. The things you can be curious about, just to check out. And you're going to read the list. What's going to stick out to you? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The moment you see that on the list, you're going to be like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? That sounds ridiculous. I have to see more. There will always be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It, the name has instant marketing and promotion built in. As long as I can remember since I was a kid, Ninja Turtles have always been around in some form. Like, they may, like, fade away for a few years, but they always come back. They're, they've never really been gone for an extended length of time. But imagine it's been, like, 30 years. Imagine it's been 50 since the last Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie or cartoon. If you're some executive looking for the next brand to really wrap some profit around and bring back to the masses, someone is going to hand you a list of things to reboot. Here's some possibilities. And you're going to read the list and you're going to be like, well, Ghostbusters, I don't know about that. Power Rangers, oh, that's not... Then you're going to see it. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? That sounds absurd. We absolutely have to bring that back. And eventually, language, history, culture, we're going to have these fading ideas of what these items are. A ninja? What is that? You're going to Google it or whatever and be like, a stealthy assassin? This has to be a kid's... I... There will always be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles.